hello to anyone that's joined early. We uh, we like an early joiner. Oh, hello, Lesson Morris. Welcome, welcome. One day I'll sort out like an intro thing and a countdown, but I don't stream often enough to uh, to really do it. I should <laughs> I try and remember to trim all the waiting down. So I'll, I'll just give it a minute because I hadn't <clears throat> excuse me hadn't really planned on a stream. I hadn't put anything out there for a stream, so. We'll wait to see if some people get a notification, and then we'll jump in. I'm just going to sort out putting my uh, my other account on my phone. It's not just a random account; it is another channel. <laughs> and uh, just put that in there. It all helps. Anyway, listen. How are you? All well, I hope. Hopefully, the sounds all right. You have to let me know if the uh, audio sounds off. I'm always fiddling with things and breaking stuff and and doing things. So let's jump in. We've got one or two bodies. We can cope with one or two bodies. Like I say, I haven't... Previous streams, I've uh, done a post about. I've been sort of posting in the Discord, Facebook, stuff like that. I wasn't sure if I was going to stream tonight, so uh, I didn't do all that. I've been trying to catch up on on the save, as it were. Um, we've had a few... Hey, buddy. We've had a few uh, updates and changes again. So that means a map reset, which means, although I don't cut the uh, the barley field, I uh, I have to uh, do other jobs <laughs> to, get, to get to where I want to be to... Uh, stream because I don't want to keep showing the same <laughs> the same sort of August September part of, uh, of the year I had different things set up for different jobs so I was working my way through because we keep resetting uh, there's never no pressure sort of day of ad all pressure because we keep resetting I've decided I'm going to stop trying to fill this clan, and uh, I'm just filling it with bales instead because I can, I can bring them back every time, rather than have another clamp to fill. I'll keep filling the first clamp, but I'm not filling two clamps. Too much, way too much. And I got some more over here because I, I just finished doing this. Although I was a, a day ahead on it, I think it was October three. But we've done it in October too. So I'll try and bring all them in as well. So that could be fun. That could be something fun we do. We should have done that too. Exactly right. Just have one clamp to fill. Don't fill all of them. Not for now. Well, not once they're all tested. They'll be fine. Let's uh, let's skip somewhere. That's why these are always the same. Although we've got, we've got a few small ones now. Because uh, I did it different this time. Uh, cows are all in. They're all sorted and organised. Like I said, I forgot to... Uh, because I, I thought, right, I'm going to just play catch-up, get ready for the stream. I put the cows in early, so I don't have to worry about them. But I've had to constantly feed them every time I cycle through a day, and the poo is mounting up. So, today... Excuse me. Oh, we've still got, we've got to take the Scania off the roof. <laughs> we got, we got a Scania up there. That happened the other day. That, that was an <laughs> that's an accidental thing. I left the boy <laughs> with the PC for a bit, and I don't know what he'd done. Don't know how he managed to get it up there, but that's where it landed. It was uh, hauling. <laughs> it was hauling chaff for me at one point. <sighs> right, what I need to do, oh, a little flick of the head, is uh, we'll start out by moving some of this manure because I've got a lot of it. Of uh, around the back of the the older shed, that's all gone. What I had, so we'll uh, we'll try and clear some of this out. Then uh, I should imagine all all of the barns with uh, dairy cows in. They've got milk. I need to be doing. We're a bit late for that. Sub has ten, but we'll get there. 
it's been piling up some manure in here getting a nice collection I'm hoping that then by the time sort of spring rolls around we'll get our first cut in then I'll be able to spread some manure on the fields it's a shame the map's not out for Christmas yeah well there were some things that popped up and needed doing unfortunately uh, some things that sort of slipped through the builders <laughs> the builders eye but that's uh, they're there now so hopefully when giants come back they'll be sitting there waiting for them hopefully <coughs> excuse me if anyone would like to be he has been trying he has if anyone would like to uh, give the stream a share on the socials I normally put it on Facebook and stuff I didn't do it because I wasn't 100% on doing it so uh, if anyone could be kind enough to do that stick it in a few groups if you're in some I normally stick it in um, farm sim community farm sim 1920 PC Yeah, I'm sure they're the two that I normally stick it in and share it from my own page, but I haven't done it. Hopefully, the uh, the Discord bot did its thing as well. Got a new man in the Discord. Things are our development. Uh, hello, Davies. Good to see you. Welcome back. Yeah, got a got a new a new man in the Discord who's. Uh, <laughs> pretty much Discord manager. Been sorting out all my bots for me and my notifications and doing some roles and things, so that should be a bit smoother and cleaner. I've been trying to do that for a while and it turns out I know absolutely F all about that sort of thing. I was saying to him back in back in the late nineties, early two thousands, I considered myself <laughs> quite tech savvy, but then never really kept on top of things and none of what I knew or learned is really relevant anymore uh, it don't matter when it's released all that matters is it gets released ah that's it it, it, get, it comes eventually doesn't it that's the thing uh, I wouldn't even know how to mate I'm used to all that for exactly that's why I do yours for you <laughs> that's, that's, why, that's why I share the map for you mate get it out there that's my job. I'm normally pretty good with it. It was sort of a bit of a last minute. I was, oh, I'm on an R and whether to just to have a soak in the tub and wash the day away. But the missus wanted to get in there and she's off out tomorrow and do. And so I thought oh, she'd go in and sort herself out and I'll, I'll get in late. We'll have a couple of hours on farm sim, do our thing. see who turns up for a chat we've got a lot to do so you know we could keep going for a while got, got a lot of manure to move uh, you need patience for perfection and I'm watching this stream and all I see is perfection <laughs> have you not got it in HD <laughs> Is it coming out for Christmas? I don't think there's any more mods being released now. I think they're done. I think this afternoon is like their last last session, isn't it? Uh, Rusty, hello and welcome back, my friend. How have you been? Hope you and your good family are well. Someone said uh, in the Discord today that um, they were a bit disappointed there weren't no good maps dropped today, like before Christmas. But I had a little look, and that German one looks quite nice. I need to start doing map tours again, I think. Is it a telly hat? Yes, it is. It's the Merlot. It's the Red Merlot. 
the uh, mana twos are all a little bit too modern. This is uh, if you if you let me get my words out. Yeah, if you have the mod installed, you'll start with it. This is like the only required mod, and it's the one that anyone who's pretty much running a English farm has. Most people have a Merlot. Oh, um, Rusty, as well as any of us can be at this time, hope you're a good lady as well and the little man isn't causing too much havoc in the excitement. He's always causing havoc, whether he's excited about anything or not. He's too little to really grasp the Christmas thing. But he's, uh, he's just got so much energy, bless him. He's uh, going to be a handful the bigger he gets, that's for certain. Right, which way do I want to go this way? Now I haven't just just took out the bloody shed. I haven't um, done any manure maneuvering down this end. So there might be mountains of there's mountains of it up at the uh, other farm as well. But I think that can just be pushed back anyway. We can keep manure up there. That's not a problem. Oh, it's only baby calves in here. We'll not worry about that. They just got a little bit of poo. They're all well. They don't look like baby calves, but they are. With the reset, we've not got the... Uh, what do they have? 10, 20... Um, brown Swiss? I didn't put them in this time. we just got the, the 20... Uh, Holstein. So we might be good for that. So I think I might just check... Bed in here. And now I've got to head over to the other farm. Although the uh, the blower is up at the other farm, we'll take the manny to the other farm. That's what we'll do. They should be all right for us to just speed that up a little bit. One times three. There's the wee man in charge of Christmas dessert cookies for everyone. He ain't in charge of nothing, mate. <laughs> Too naughty. Too naughty. Uh, so Davies asked, uh, so is it is it coming before Christmas, FS Landscape? I, I doubt that very much if they've finished testing for the year. I'm sure they've took their break already. Now we're moving silage up at the other end, uh, silage bales. And I find a wrapped bale grab an absolute nightmare. So we are stabbing them. And what we're doing is after we've stabbed them, we stick a bit of tape on it. Okay? <laughs> that's that's what we're doing. Sealing it over again. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Oh, that's my clamp. That's... Uh... <laughs> that's been filled so many times. Anyone who's just joined, there we go. We've got the, uh, the Scania Streamline on the silage tank. Yeah, I think I've filled this four times in the last seven days. The filling of it isn't a problem, but the, uh, <laughs> the compacting of a million litres takes a while. Yeah. I did put a shot of the Scania in the Discord, I think. If you're new here, or if you're not a member of the Discord yet, go check it out. There'll be a link in the description, link on the homepage, and all that jazz. I'm trying to uh, make it look, I say more professional. I don't think there's such a thing, is it? But um, more of a community thing rather than just me and my gaming. So there's uh, a little bit for everything there, and uh, Rhino, the uh, the new guy, I'll just have to bring up my Discord, just got to get his name right. A Rage Rhino, how could I not get that right? Rage Rhino's been, uh, well I say super busy, he's not, it took him no time at all. 
I've tried to set up bots for my Discord, for YouTube, for Twitch. Uh, for a little while I had a bot that was doing uh, free games and promoting games anywhere, that, whether they're on Reddit, Epic, Steam or anything, they'd, they'd share a link to a free game if that was out. And then it just stopped and I've tried to get that going a couple of times. And after failing my YouTube bot many times, I sort of gave up on it. Um, but within like 20 minutes today, he'd set up you know, a bot to follow and, and do everything for this channel, for my second channel. Sorted out some stuff for, for people and just just generally made it look like it's going to run so much smoother. So uh, thanks to Rage Rhino for that. He is the uh, the Discord manager. Really should have got some fuel before I came up here. That was uh, bad form. I have not got my fuel. I've, I've only just placed that as well. I haven't got me uh, my diesel. Might still be pending release by uh, Friday, hopefully. I mean, you'll need to have everything crossed for that, mate. So, shut the gate. Good one. Stand in the middle of the road for. I won't just spend two hours um, picking up bales, don't worry, we'll, uh, we'll uh, try and do some other things. It doesn't matter if the bales stay there, I just want to get some of them moved. But I think we need to uh, put bedding down up here, that's for certain. I, m I may have bedded in a little bit better down at the main farm, but we'll have a look. And then when we go back to the main farm with the straw blower, we'll go collect up some milk and get that done. Might have some some cheese or some butter soon. I've been trying to be good and uh, move my milk into the dairy and do stuff there with it. But yeah, as I was saying uh, a little minute ago, I think I'll start doing um, map tours again. Not necessarily every map that comes out, just like I said before, the ones that take my fancy or that I think I'll enjoy. Or like I was doing before where I was... I, I mapped all maps that weren't really getting that much love and attention because, you know, they needed it. So I might do that. Some of the the ones that are on like third-party sites and stuff like that that people don't get to see. Sometimes you get a bit moaned at, but it is what it is. As I say... Uh, Davies Farmer says it might still happen. <laughs> the man is super hopeful. I think they may have even done it all then. If there's a bale in there. No, that's not bedded, is it? That one is. Fine. I have to remember which. It's the opposite direction from what you think it is. There we go. Let's go my gate. Don't think I can hit this one from outside. I know I can always hit a hit a wall though, so I have had another new mapper get in touch with me about working together, doing some testing and promoting and stuff, so that could be interesting in the future as well. I've seen his map that he's working on, and it looks pretty awesome. It's just got a lot of changes to do with it, unfortunately. But hopefully he'll get there and uh, that'll be something we can all see and enjoy. Something we've not got yet as well, it's a, it's a British 4X. And uh, I quite like a 4X map. So, I'm stuck on. I'm stuck on that, I'm going to have to tab. I'm sure I've got another tractor nearby. There it is. 
Was that um so the cows are walking into the wall? They do that. They're not very bright. Cows do mad things. The nav meshes have been an absolute nightmare. Anyone that's ever tried to use one would understand that. <laughs> They've not really played ball at all in, in many places. With, with it being everything custom and everything made in map, in GE, it's been quite a hard one to, for uh, FS to get with everything that goes on with it. Hard it back out far enough. We'll see if we can just drop it on. Oh, that'll be fine. That'll be fine, mate. The jump through. There we go. Shut that in. Scoop it up. All right, let's get some more in there. I know uh, FSL has been looking at trying to do something different with a nav mesh in one of the other barns as well. Because they can be a nightmare. One more? I reckon we now have one more. Uh, there we go. I knew I could get out. I got out before when I've been in. Just gonna pull my tractor back a bit though. <laughs> right. Muscles, mate, muscles. Oh, get out of the way. Go on. <laughs> Bloody wheel. Right. Let's get another one. So I've got all this manure up here, but I, I can push that back. I'm not worried about getting that all moved and done. So uh, I don't think the farm you're at is meant to have cubicles, but it's because it's for beef. says yeah FS landscape says really I'll look into that but look like that bale's gonna come off there a little push I haven't really seen much of uh, up here on the channel as I've uh, said before I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good few years behind and they, they, I've only ever seen them really use the clamp and stick a few cows at the very end I think come on there we are my depth perception gets worse and worse every day. Uh, FSS is looking into it straight away. Uh, I think you might be right, David. How have I not noticed this before? FS Lance uh, wouldn't be too hard to remove them. There you go. Thanks, David. I'm getting a new uh, <laughs> getting a new update. I've got to film a clamping in now. 
That's weird. Look, I can get out. Or get in, sorry, through that gap. I wouldn't let you walk out. Take some more straw. A <laughs> new link tomorrow. Yeah, no worries. Blame Dave. I am blaming David. My feet hurt from going back and forwards on my pedals trying to compact that clamp. Alright, I think that'll do for them for now. The others looked like they had plenty of bed in. These uh, these sheds have had quite a bit of attention the last sort of few days, week. So a little bit more attention will do them no harm. So I'm going to take this back down to the other farm. We'll go to the back roads. I think I left all the gates open. Saves me slowing down traffic. Just excuse me while I have a sip of coffee. Can't get by without my coffee. Well, that was coffee that fueled me to uh, to an eight-hour blender session last night, starting at midnight till eight in the morning. It was uh, pretty something. Never done anything with blender before, and uh, I didn't expect to get very far. I'm actually playing a slightly older version than you, mate. My bail trigger is out of sync at the minute. <laughs> that can be annoying. But yeah, spending a little bit of time trying to teach myself, really. And I, I eventually I started getting somewhere. It took about three and a half hours. And I'd had a small shed built sort of and then I spent a bit of time trying to work out how to do colors and textures and stuff hey simulator Baz welcome welcome still can't believe what I achieved that shed looked great well it's you know it's what man does is <laughs> I think it's probably just because there's a small image that you saw it's all right but I'm just so for dons and I get the little button at the bottom of Blender, so I'm sp that you click to bring up the uh, the extractor and all the stuff you need for it, and nothing happens. I just can't pull the bloody thing out. Uh, Baz says such a downfall. We don't have this before Christmas. It is a shame. The man's been trying. There's there's, there's been so many uploads of it. I think we stumbled across something the last, what, last week, and then that sort of led to other things and other things, so. Eventually it'll get there. It will. He has been working all hours of the day trying to get this out to everyone. He really has. And I even tried telling him a take a day off and take a break, wait until the new year, but he still just kept doing it, so it is what it is, again right so we need bedding here we need lots of bed in here okay we'll have to do that with this one
Ooh. Turn the engine on. So I don't think we have a bail spike for this one. Patience is a virtue and good things come to those who wait, I believe the saying is. It is the saying. It's, uh, it's still difficult though, isn't it, when you, when you want something. Even as adults, as most of us are, <laughs> you want something. My lovely stack is just going to come tumbling down. Did you miss much? Um, I've moved some poo about. And I've put the bedding in for the cows at the other farm. And then um, David pointed out that something wasn't accurate in the map. So FS is already getting on changing that. So I've got another update coming tomorrow. And need to reset my map after spending all day resetting it. Bite your tongue. I've been 13 for 40 years. Don't intend on changing anytime soon. I'm <laughs> much the same. I'm not quite <laughs> 13. I've, I've remained at about 16, I think, for the last 20 odd years. <laughs> right. I'm trying to think uh, what side the bedding bale, the straw trigger is, for which way I need to go in this way. Yeah, I think pretty much anything that's not out now is, is next year. I'm sure they were still in there today, so whether there's something that's going to turn up tomorrow, that would be the surprise. But if it's still on the uh, the pending, then uh, it's not even being tested. And there's three day wait for when things get tested, so... There is a little while yet. Let's go uh, reach the gate. You have to duck down. Don't want to get hit by the uh, stroll. Big Sid. Hello, Big Sid. Nice of you to come and join us, sir. Uh. If you don't know Big Sid Gaming, people, go check him out on Twitch. This is his main source, Twitch and uh, Facebook Gaming, I believe. I'll put those changes into my uh, experiment copy. Uh, then when there are a few more changes I'll make, I'll replace the old version. As long as they aren't game-changing changes, they can wait. Uh, yes, they were in today, but I think his name is Chris. Put a message in the testing sheet today saying he's off after today. Yeah. How to read that with my one good eye. Oh, mate, I'll, I'll chat everyone, especially Discord members and all that. It's all part of the uh, the community of Mr. Farquhar, you see. If there's people that I watch, people I enjoy watching, people I see putting the grind in, and they come and join me, if only for a bit, then uh, I show my appreciation, sir. That's how Mother raised me. See, much the same for my man uh, Blurred here. Blurred just hit his 1k on YouTube. The man became YouTube partner, and uh, I think you should check him out as well because he has some great Call of Duty Battlefield content on there, and that is where I go and lurk when I edit late at night. That's the man that gets me through my editing sessions, it's a bit blurred. The most positive, I'll say it, I'll say it again, the most positive COD streamer you will ever come across. And that sort of stuff needs to be shouted about. <laughs> no, mate, it's, uh, you've been putting the work in and it's, you know, it's, it's coming to fruit now. It's good to see.
Uh, did I have a look at Edge Fire? I, I, I didn't, mate. I've, I've got it installed. I just haven't had the time to do it. I had someone else uh, get in touch with me asking me to have a little look at their map for them, and I've, I've spent a lot of time the last few days trying to help them with some bits. So that is... Uh, I'm facing the wrong way, aren't I? What an absolute pain. Right. Where's the... Where's the trigger side? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Blood says, hey, uh, simulate Baz. Yes, it is. Uh, Blood, thanks, FS. Uh, being the sent the notifications on the sub Blood, congrats. Shannon Graphics, well done, great map. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Fair play. Just curious, that's all. Oh, right, I've got to try and turn this round now. That might just back all the way up. But yeah, go check these people out. There, a lot of, uh, like I say, a lot of the people that I, you'll hear me mention are all people I watch. There's a good eight, ten of them listed at the bottom of my homepage for a reason. They're, they're people I, I enjoy and uh, I want to see them succeed as well. Just getting back to that. Now we're going to have to back in as well because I know it points the other way. Uh, is this in Game Pass Pack 2, lol? Uh, that's a big backside. <laughs> we like them big, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Let your meat on it. Oh, no. I think I'm going to just go the other way around. I'm going to go to the other... <laughs> other bit first. It's going to be such a pain in the arse. I have to turn it around. It's going to be a pain in the arse to back that up. I think there's two bales in there before I threw some bales in to feed them earlier. Now, every time I've tried to do this on stream, it doesn't work. Yesterday, I bedded up from outside the bloody barn, okay? So I know it's there. Every time I try and do it on stream, it never comes up. And that is so <laughs> fucking annoying. <laughs> Where are you? I know you're there. I did it. I did it yesterday. <laughs> Oh, doing me dirty. There we go. We can hit it from here. That'll do. <laughs> Let's just spray it in. Ah, oh, dear. I knew. I knew they'd go in eventually. They didn't need much. That's okay. Right. <laughs> Their feed is looking pretty good as well. But yeah, every every time I've done that. It doesn't turn up. FS tells me I need to go inside the, the shed to do it. Rusty then mocks me because I can't find my trigger. But I know it's there. <laughs> I know it's there. I was probably a little bit too generous on throwing them hay bales in earlier. As if I would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't help it if he moves things and I don't know. <laughs> all right, I have to find new stuff all the time. <laughs> I have to remember to turn some of these off as well before I uh, head out. Along with the manure, we should have plenty of slurry as well now. Sorry if you can hear my chair creaking. I think my arse is getting fatter. 
no thinking about it. It is. Oh, I need to uh, go exercise more. We're just ignoring. If anyone's new, we're just ignoring that. Okay. That happened. It'll stay. <laughs> it'll stay up in there until I do the next update as well. So I, th I think, I think these guys are pretty good. Maybe we should do the milk. We'll do the milk. That's what we'll do while we're here. Get the milk in. And then when I go off to uh, pick up my 1,000 silage bales, everyone will leave. Sounds ever so quiet compared to them older ones. Ever so quiet. It's quieter than the quiet, quiet Land Rover. Or Range Rover, whatever it was we had. So, I can't remember my milk. I think they're all, they're beef in there anyway, so they don't matter. Uh, so all my milk is in here anyway. But I think from reset, and I may even have milk out in the out in the fields as well. If we have, we'll go collect that. Back it up. With regards to uh, other content that's coming, uh, you can look forward to me having a meltdown with some potatoes soon. That was uh, that was a t that was a tough couple of days. <laughs> oh dear! I, uh, sometimes I just think, why why do I bother <laughs> playing <laughs> when when I come across looking so god awful? I had I had nightmares with follow me and course play and everything was just going to pot. It really was. And I'm trying to do a feckin' time lapse. <laughs> uh, I might have to change Maze Plus so that I never need root crops. I wanna edit it so no animals eat root crops at all and I never have to do them. Because this just <laughs> Sugar beets as well, and I've got sugar beets to do next. My next recording is uh, for sugar beets. Where was that? Go drive out of it. Perhaps I collected it up. It's here somewhere. Um, let's just pop it on rather than just me um, sliding back and forth. That that far off. That's what it was. Ah, uh, the Fisher J. Hello, hello. I see your comment earlier. I just haven't got round to... Uh, oh, I think I've already collected it. I must have done. Um, your comment, Fisher J, about the uh, the disc arrows and stuff. You weren't being ignored. I was busy setting up the stream. I do normally try and uh, get back to people as quickly as possible. We're just having a mosey round, and uh, as always, if anyone's, you know, brand new, not seen, and would like a little uh, little tour and a walk around, we can do that. That is never an issue. So we should have milk. See, now the fact that I'd moved the uh, the vehicle, the, uh, the walk carrier, the butt, wherever it is, should have told me that I'd already been out there and collected that. So the only spot that I should have milk, if I've got any milk, 
will be there. This should be my milk. Yeah. I love it when I get it right. <laughs> Especially when you're live. <laughs> I'll, I'm, I'm definitely more of a recording kind of guy. Because, well, for one, I swear way too much. And I can edit some of it out. But, yeah, at least uh, if that's wrong, you just sort of <laughs> take two. Let's go again. So we'll uh, take the milk to the parlour. There we are. Getting better at weaving through. You can tell I do it. <laughs> do it a lot. <laughs> Now, there should be more out there as well, so we're all at the at that barn, so we'll get them at the shed. Now, uh, is the map up? Not yet, Jinx. Not yet. It's with them. It's pending, so it'll probably be New Year now. Hopefully, and there's already uh, some things for a future update as well in the plans. Got a lot of milk, I think, because we've just got all of them in there. They've been there for a while. Marvellous. And uh, don't forget to give the video a like, guys, if you're enjoying it. Even if you're not, just be kind and uh, give it a little like. Helps me out tremendously. You got yourself a nice little side, side panel there, Jinx. I couldn't do it without mine now, I don't think. I... I I find it so much easier to remember where I've mapped things on the side panel than I do trying to remember key bindings for some reason. But I do also map similar controls for ETS and ATS to the panel in the same way that I do for FS. So it's always lights are always in the same place, engine on and off is always in the same place, and horns and wipers and whatever that whatever it is. That, that can be the same. I keep this in the same. Uh, is Mace Plus on console? No. Mace Plus in on console. Oh, you're asking Fisher. Okay. <laughs> now, this is just purely being built to, uh, to get to... Uh, console so the maze plus compatibility thing has never been like an issue but maze plus works on any map you put maze plus on it's just whether the fields and stuff are set up for grazing and if they're not and you want grazing that is something that can be done um, in editor Disturbed Simulations has some very easy to follow tutorials for setting up custom grazing areas on any pen, any pen by any modder. Oh, what have I brought it out for? What have I brought it out for? I was reading, that's why. I was looking at the chat and weren't thinking. Got too comfortable, got a bit casual. Got a bit cash. So I think we're going to try and move some bales. And then, although it's probably the completely wrong time of year for it, I have not got enough hay to get me through till spring. So I need to go out and cut some grass and try and make some hay as quickly as possible.
I mean, uh, Disturbs tutorial is really easy to follow. I've used it and done it on other maps, so if I can do it, anyone can because they, I can't do half <laughs> half the stuff I should be able to do. Like I was saying earlier, I can't <laughs> I can't even get my shed to extract from Blender in the <laughs> into my 3D file. So, but I can. Uh, do the do the grazing mapping. There are foliage layers out in the custom meadows and stuff. They just need to be set properly or adjusted in that way for you to if you want that. Because I was having a look at it myself, but I get I get a new update too often to uh, really do it. Perhaps once the map is, is finished and finalised, then uh, I'll look into uh, setting that up. I can do that. Possibly, if I've got time. So I think what I'll do... Because watching me... I don't know, watching me move bales is probably more boring than watching me cut grass. I don't know. We'll do a bit of both. There we are. That's on. Now I'm not sure if that that isn't grown yet. Just better put that up. I could even cut one of those. I, I may do that actually, yeah. We're going to cut the pasture that doesn't get grazed on. That's what I'll do. What does Maze Plus do, if you don't mind? Um, just adds more realistic feeding. It adds grazing. Um, it's, it's just further realism for the game. I mean, it's, it's made my Maypole series a lot more challenging, but I, I really like Maze Plus. I was looking forward to it arriving on 19. Um, pretty much played with it all the time. On PC. But yeah, I like it. The, the guys that work on it do a really good job of adding so much to the game. I mean, the, the team that they have there is constantly growing all the time as well. At the farm and agency and the alien pool. And we've got this field. I think there's a bale still out there somewhere. Um, yeah, I've got this field and the far field that want all that I can cut, I think. Don't need loads, so I'm not worried about if it's not um, sort of planted grass, as it were. But I do need more hay if I'm going to keep up and doing the, the streaming series with this for a bit. I need to make sure that stuff is there so that I don't have to uh, use the dev tools to set myself up all the time. I want it to, to play through properly. Uh, currently starting a Shire farm map. Is it any good for dairy? Honestly, no, no offence to FS Lusty. The map isn't good itself. Uh, it's so broken. I'm, I've got a series on it because I didn't know that to start with. If I'd have known it was as broken as it is, I, I wouldn't have started a series on it. Contracts don't work. Um, there's only one sell point that's really any good for all general goods. The second sell point is in such a pain in the ass position that it's just a nuisance. But for dairy farming, if all you want to do is some dairy farming on it, it's got a big uh, cow barn. You've got so much meadow, so much grass, um, so you can do that. But the map really needed some updating. And I, I think he's sort of moved on now. But you can get a good dairy farm on there for sure. 
on my uh, own because I started a, an own the map challenge series. I know that everyone that comes here and watches this actually watches uh, my content. They just come for th this map, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so I've um, about 18, I think episode 18 went live today. And I've been doing that. It's We do uh, two-day seasons every episode, or two-day month, sorry. Every, every episode is the month, so we do the two days in a full episode. And at first it was all right. But then as soon as it got to sort of late in the year, all through winter and what have you, there was no contracts, there was no way of earning money. And in trying to do an own the map challenge and not earning money, that was uh, a bit of a kick in the balls. So I've ground it out for like two, two years now. Uh, cheers mate, been watching the On The Map Challenge, it's brilliant in my opinion, you do a good job. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> That's very kind. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I enjoy doing it, I'm just a little bit disheartened that the map is as broken as it is. Like, I'm sure some of them are quite fixable stuff. I'm no map maker. But I'm sure... I'm sure the contracts thing could have been fixed in a patch. And that sell point, I mean, you could go into GE. If you're on uh, PC, you can go into Giants Editor and take some of that stuff out. Uh, so you can probably get to the, the, the other sell point. The terrain has got some rough edges and stuff. But I, I'd plumbed for it and I'd sort of pre-uploaded, I think, six or seven episodes. And I wasn't just going to bail on it for that. And um, I did have people say, oh, you should uh, do something different, go somewhere else. But I, I stuck with it, and uh, I sort of tend to stick with what I decide to do. So we're doing it. And we had that one massive silage harvest and, and sold the silage. And we got so much money for that. So in, in the way that I'm running the rules on there is that we can't keep doing back-to-back -back silage harvest so we have to do a hay harvest and keep some of the hay and do and I'm going to need silage for another pit anyway so two more silage harvests time we may have more grass and we'll just make so much money again and we'll already be making money from crops we'll be making money from our cows they're starting to pay out and I've just added sheep and I really like <laughs> the sheep because they're easy to look after they tick over in the background uh, I brought a mass that massive meadow that I stuck my sheep in and I think I just want to stick loads of them little open pens in it so there's just thousands of sheep in that field it wasn't going to be a big series on lots of animals but I just want to do that now Uh, you're going to scrap the Shire because it's a feeding robot? Yeah, it does have the feeding robots. You don't have to use the feeding robots, but they, they do take up the space. I think on uh, standard settings, if you can fill that feeding robot, like I, on my Maypole series, once I'd got my feeding robot full, I didn't really see the cows for much of the year until it was in time to just feed the, f fill up the robot or you know chuck some bed in it. So that did take away a lot of the dairy farming part of it and then when I added Maze Plus obviously the, the robot then didn't work no more and Maze Plus kicked my ass so hard <laughs> that right now I'd love to have my robot working and I, th I think part of the, the update for, for Maypole you know, was to do with the robots and the feeders but because mine has still got old feed in it that can't be given because it's not balanced out right uh, I can't top them up, I'd need to go into the XMLs and empty them and, and do but we're about 100 I don't know, 113 115 episodes deep I think, or that I've recorded uh, on uh, Maypole so I have said in a couple of the episodes that that, that may be coming to a close soon and uh, moving on somewhere else with Maze Plus from the start.
Uh, it wasn't an ass kicking, it was an education. We loved watching you learn. <laughs> I'm still learning. <laughs> Just as I get comfortable with it, I was like, oh my god, no, I've run out of food again. The uh, when I first when I first stuck it on, uh, I didn't pay attention to the actual levels of feed that were required, and I was like, "Oh man!" Just found out it it requires like ten times the amount of feed. <laughs> Where am I going to get that from? And then spend like a year and a half, two years, just trying to gather up, and collect up as many fields as I can. Is there a map you recommend for dairy farming? Uh, well, anyone. To be fair, it depends on how you play. If you want to go onto a map that's pre-built for dairy farming, um, and and if you want to do it English, uh, obviously the obvious choice is probably Carmston. Uh, but there's there's a lot of maps out there that you can have fun with, and you know you can get your field meadows together and make big meadows. That's what I've done with Maple. I've just turned that into a a big dairy farm. I sold off the horse pasture, then I sold off the sheep pasture, and just concentrated on cows, and I've had a good time with it. Oh, we've got ourselves a bot. Don't worry about it, just don't click on their stuff. They need their time to shine. Unless you're after some desperate sexy time, then girls for dot xyz <laughs> are well up for it I, I, I've said it before in streams I'm not very sympathetic if at this stage <laughs> of internet knowledge you fall for an internet scam it's probably best you leave the internet alone probably have to take this myself as well if I want hay off it. Uh, hot photo must be a photo of the sun in Spain, indeed. Uh, they got a nice cooked dinner. Took, pi <laughs> took a picture of their spag bowl. <laughs> Although with the... Uh, the cost of living crisis and <laughs> the energy price crisis. Anyone who's showing off anything hot is uh, is proper flexing. <laughs> oh dear. Listen, Morris agrees. So, uh, what's, what maps everyone else playing at the minute? Then we got sixteen people watching. What's everyone? What's everyone playing? What's the popular map at the minute? I did say uh, right at the start that that new German one that dropped today looked quite nice. On Carmsten Leston, yeah. I mean, that is a, a big agri map to be fair, but you could. Um, stick more grass down and put down some more cow pastures and that would uh, obviously make good dairy. I forget what the uh, forget what that, the name of that map is that dropped today but that look, that looks quite interesting and it's uh, based on real life geo as well which is uh, a real life location and they do say it's one to one realistic as where possible so uh, that should be good. been uh, conversing and helping with a chap that's building a map based around not far from where I live about 15 yeah about 15 20 miles southwest from me a uh, big 4x uh, British map which I was saying earlier it's, could be pretty cool she's so got some adjustments to do on it and what have you and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to show some of that off to you guys as well Gonna be the map showing man. Just 
So if anyone out there watching live or if you watch it in the replay, if you do have some uh, some mods or some maps or something, you want someone to have a little play test on it, do. I, I am happy to do that. Squeeze it in my schedule. I like to see the new things. And as I was saying to someone in my Discord uh, just the other week, that I, that I like to do it to uh, just sort of give something back. It takes a bit of time, but to give something back to the people that are creating the great maps that we uh, that we get to play on. But it also helps me to learn a little bit more about map making. Because I can see what's maybe not right, and then they'll explain how they fix it, which is then give me a chance to uh, see what they're doing. Uh, RC Game in Calmston for sure, been playing it when the map was released. Did you make this farm? Did I make this farm? No, this is FS Landscapers farm. This is his map. It's not my map. I just helped with play testing it and sort of promoting it and sharing it and giving feedback. I did I I in no way, shape or form made this map. I had a map that I was working on and uh, it kept throwing up too many errors at me that I got pissed off with it and I'm a bit of a grumpy old man and when things don't work I soon sort of pack up so uh, that's just sitting there for me to go back to one day that's why it was always, it was always going to be a short lived <laughs> career in Blender when I booted that up last night as well I thought let's see I reckon I could try and learn this overnight I can learn Blender no you can't um <laughs> But I think I, I must have created 30, 40 <laughs> cubes before, and deleted them, put them in the bin, before I finally managed to get it to do what I wanted it to do, to some extent. How do you make farms? You mean, how do you make maps? Is that what you're asking? How do you make them? Um, you have to download, if you, you need a PC, I don't know whether you're on PC or not, download some software called Giants Editor from Giants, stick it into Google, uh, you have to create an account, download the software, and, and with that, uh, you can then create anything that you see within FarmSim. Uh, it takes a lot, a lot of learning, a lot of patience. Uh, you need to really have half an understanding on scripting and uh, writing scripts but there, there are tutorials out there that are pretty good uh, Farmer Bob has some uh, P, uh, I want to say 7, 6 something so if someone, someone put his name in there a young Peter that does Greenlands and stuff he uh, he streams sometimes um live his map making uh, he did for 19 he did at the start for 22 but yeah Pete, Peter's got some good stuff up there um, Shy Wizard he's got some tutorials I think um, Lancey Boy put one or two up for 19 and at the start of 22 I think Lancey's looking to do some more tutorial stuff I'm not sure because I know he's now busy with uh Oxygen David but there are a few people out there the knowledge is hard to come by because it's well good map making is difficult and I guess there's, there's a little bit of protecting it like a, a magician's code if it were so people who know how to do it like to uh, sort of keep it to themselves a bit and not give out all their tricks because everyone's trying to make a map that's a little bit better than something else or is different or quirky or got its own thing to it so if you constantly share all that then every, you've got nothing yourself like knowledge is power sort of thing but there are one or two out there but Farmer Bob go check out Farmer Bob he has got so much content on map making and uh, he's he's not always he's not always the best he's not always right and he will he sort of records as he goes and if he makes mistakes he keeps them in so you can see the mistakes he makes so that then you might not make them 
which is what I do with my Let's Plays. That's why there's so many mistakes in them. <laughs> you can learn from it. <clears throat> but I, I've dabbled with bits. I've edited little bits on maps and added things in. I, I don't like pulling other people's maps to bits. That's, that's not something I do. I know some people like to, but that's 100% uh, fine. It's all there to be done. Uh, but I just think sometimes when someone has spent so long creating something, and then like they release it, and then within three days on their Facebook page will be seven or eight people that have shown off what they've done to it. And I just, oh, they didn't even, they didn't even give it a chance. What's my favourite map on FS22? Uh, for for me, for the, the playability of it and the love that I had from it for the first time, I played it Maypole. Maypole has been my favourite map. I've had so much fun on that. Um, Calmston is a beautiful map. Really like that. I'm looking forward to uh, Court Farms. That's going to be good. I like... Uh, <laughs> there's a little Polish map that no one's ever heard of or played. Uh, called the Loina. It, it's got like 20 fields on it. You can throw a bale across the across the whole map. Um, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like the uh, the Polish ones. But I've been looking into the last month or two really. I've been looking into bigger maps. The the 4x and the 8x. Not because uh, we had a look at. Um, did a map tour of Horan County. That was a 16 times map. And that was massive. And I think the only thing that was really missing from it was like a, a uniqueness to it because it was such a, a big American map. Uh, and it was, you know, supposed to be based somewhere sort of loosely realistic. I can't imagine there's anywhere in the world that's that square other than uh, Kings Lynn. And and yeah, it, like being that big felt great, but then every field was still just a square. I don't know if you know this one. Is when is Bally Spring? No one knows when any mods or any maps is coming out, Jinx. No one knows. Even the makers don't know because you don't know if it's going to pass testing. You don't know what giants are going to tell you you need to change. No one ever knows when a map or a mod is coming out. Again, another one that looks really nice. Nice, realistic British map. But yeah, I'll be going out trying to find some nice... I've, I've got two that I installed, like, way back in February, March and I keep on and on about starting a series on them they are they're, they're, they're 4x maps, I think one of them's in Germany, one of them's in Poland and they look nice, they look like they'll play nice but be, because of the nature of a big 4x map or an 8x map like the time frame with traveling and stuff with uh, trying to make content but you have to record so much that you're going to just dump on the floor which is what I'm finding with um, Shy Farms to be fair I played two whole days and I turned that into one 30 to 40 minute video sometimes less if there's no work whereas on Maple I play at the same speed and one day is 30, 40 minute video. And that was another reason why I went for that, like trying to challenge myself to to get better at shrinking stuff down and compacting it. Because if I can get that short, then I should be able to do better with bigger maps, is sort of my understanding. Try, try to learn all the time. But, but I, was, I was thinking maybe in the new year, when when this map comes out and everyone's on it, no one's going to come and watch me play it. So I was thinking about doing a live stream series on a big 4X map somewhere in Europe or if this young lad 
I say young lad, I don't know how old he is, so I'll speak to old they are when they message me. Um, if uh, if his f uh, British 4X map comes out, then I'll have a little look at that and do that. Because I do like having that space. And then it gives more purpose to uh, a lot of the equipment. Because we get a lot of big machinery. And then most maps are still only like two times maps. But they, for me, there's absolutely no reason to have trucks and lorries and massive great things. You can walk across the map in five minutes, but it, it takes longer to load that truck up than it does to just ferry back and forth with two small trailers. <laughs> and I'm all about the convenience. Whereas if you have got to travel across a 4, 8, even 16 to X map, having a truck, having a couple of trailers, and going on that journey then is more worthwhile and is more of an event thing to do. That's why on... Is the map... Uh, UK Agri 44 is the map I'm out, out in the mod hub. It's not. It is not out in the mod hub. Not yet. All the mods for today dropped this morning. I think they dropped really early. Uh, FSL is working hard. There is a copy with Giants. It is pending testing, so it's waiting to be tested. It's been there for a while. But I think because the map has been up and down quite a few times now, uh, even, even they wait for the next update to arrive rather than test it. No, wait there, there'll be a new version in three days. Because <laughs> that's how often I get a new version. And I'm already now waiting for a new version. I think there was something that I saw and uh, FSL said that he weren't going to do no updates until probably after Christmas anyway. New Year. But will sort of leave the map as it is. And then uh, Dave pointed out some things a minute ago in stream, so FSL's going to look into that. And uh, change that. And like I say, that's that's the reason for. Do you know when it will be? No one knows when it'll be out. UK Agri. No one knows when any mod is coming out. Ever, never, ever, ever does anyone know when a mod will be arriving in the mod hub. But like I was saying that's why we do the, the play testing. And again, that's why I. I'm happy to do the playtest and live because you get feedback as well then other people's eyes can you see of course you can see the cow shit it's got to be better than watching me drive up down this meadow please of course you can uh, I ain't ignoring you I always have my chat on a little bit of a delay uh, just to uh, save on my poor internet No worries. Which shed? Do you want to see the big shed? I currently have a hundred cows in here. It holds a uh, hundred and fifty, I want to say. Let's just check. One hundred and twenty-five. That's why we have to check. 125. They've been fed. They've got bedding down. They're sort of well looked after. It looks good. I'm sure FS is uh, pleased to hear that. If he's still if he's still lingering, he might be off creating me a new version. Now, this took a long time to make. Every single one of these planks is placed individually. <laughs> so that you could let light in like you could you could do like a uh, a solid one and make it look like the planks but then you wouldn't get sunlight through it and because uh, blender's not a thing that he's uh, learnt to master yet beveling and stuff like that isn't a thing so uh, yeah every, everything is uh, individually placed which is pretty cool 
Hopefully it'll be out early New Year, my friend. Hopefully. Got my manure piling up again already. I've only just cleared that. Uh, for anyone that is new and hasn't been here before, the equipment that I'm running isn't the start equipment. And if you're that new, just ignore that. Um, isn't the start equipment. Everything that I'm running is a mod. Because a lot of the equipment, obviously, that he would use... Where is the milking... Uh, the milking pooler? Love it. The milking parlour? Around here. I love it. No, I, I knew what you were saying. I knew what you were saying. Milking parlour's around this way. Just jump the fence. So, how it works is that you collect the milk from the barns, or if you've got your cows out in pastures, you can... You don't have to be sorry. Uh, you can collect the, the milk from out in the pastures, because obviously you can't actually milk at a parlour. So you collect your milk, you bring it in, and you unload your milk into the milking parlour. And then from within the milking parlour, if I uh, weave my fat ass for it, at the back of the milking parlour, at the office, it works as a function in dairy. So then from here, uh, didn't mean to say that. Uh, then from here, you can uh, choose if you want to turn it into butter, cheese, or chocolat, if you wish. But also, just here, is the farm store sell point. So, if you want, you can bring your milk, bypass the uh, dairy or the milking parlour, and sell your milk directly at the farm store. Here. And the, the stuff that you produce as well, you can sell that there. And what you do produce, as you can see, I've been busy. That might want a line, and if you're there, FSL, um, is uh, butter. Lots of butter. So I guess what I should do is get that moved and sell that. And then from the parlour, we can come back through to the main shed back out with the front but yeah he did he did try to get cows walking around out and about down here when they're kept in that barn but that just didn't work unfortunately which is a shame the nav mesh was not having it they just ghosted through absolutely everything obviously you've got the calves would go there there's no calves and I know we at least have we always have at least two people per stream tell us that they can't wait to get off Bergman calves on there <laughs> that is something you can do when the map is in your hands <laughs> it's just not, there's, there's a limit to animal pens for uh, console release and for base game and he's used up all possible um, animal pens to uh, be able to add the realism of uh, rotating your cows around meadows, pastures, so that's where they are. If you haven't seen it yet, I have done a proper map tour. Uh, that's alright, no worries, that's what we're here for, UK Agri. Sh shell the map, do some testing, have a little look about it is the whole purpose of why I do these. Uh, I did I did have someone kind enough on Facebook tell me that my shitty little channel doesn't deserve to have this map and that I'm only doing it trying to get famous. I... <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> if I could get famous by playing a farm sim map, that'd be amazing. Um... I appreciate that you took a look at my shitty little channel to uh, assess that it was a shitty little channel. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> that's uh, UK Agri 44. That's not true. Thanks. Yeah, it's not. I, I mean, I've I've been uh, on good friendly terms with. Uh, it's not bad. Cheers. With uh, FS Landscape and probably coming on four or five years now. Uh, we were both quite 
active members of the Xbox farm sim community and were, you know, like-minded, grumpy old men playing video games together. Well, not together. Old men don't play games together. <laughs> not the grumpy ones, anyway. And he he started his YouTube channel. I created a few, uh, like, custom maps and stuff on console for him to share on his channel and a few creations of mine. Got on there and did all right. And he, he encouraged me to have a little crack at starting the channel. And after some deliberating, uh, I did. Uh, farming game at 83. Can the tractor be got on? This one can't. At the minute, this one can't. This one is off of King Mods. If I... Uh, will it show you who was by? It will. Uh, this is Black Eyes Moderns. Uh, Lamborghini Nitro Hurleyman XT. I've gone for the Lambo because it's the only one that's silver. But at the minute, it's only available on on kingmods.com or .net, whichever it is. And yeah, initially, I wasn't too sure whether I should use it because I wasn't 100% on whether it was the original modder. And um, yeah, it, it, but everything seems all right with it. It's, there's, there's not been no complaints. It's not been pulled down. So... It, I didn't I haven't checked still, but I think Black Eyes is the original modder for it, and it just hasn't made its way over, which is a shame. Same with my other Hurley. Oh, do I want to do that? But there is, um, I think, on the very first live stream, I've linked all the machinery that I use there. Um, do I play on Xbox? Not so much anymore. Uh, I sort of transitioned over to uh, PC more permanently for, uh, near the end of FS19 I've always played on both console and PC I've, I've pretty much always had uh, Xbox, Playstation, PC or Xbox, Playstation, Laptop and just with the things I wanted to do and the type of games I wanted to play, PC was just the more sensible option and then Xbox really doesn't have the integration for content creation Cut all that rhymed, and which is silly because PlayStation you can instantly stream and do on YouTube, and I know Xbox allows you to do the Twitch thing, but if you want to be more of a creator of content and edit and do that sort of stuff, they they don't have that facility. They don't allow you to do long recordings, even with an external hard drive. You're limited. Um, so. That was where I started. If you go back and watch my early FS19, some of that is still um, off of Xbox, and I had a great deal of fun with it. But, but yeah, I, I have, I still have. I've got sitting in front of me. I've got my Xbox One X. There's an Xbox One S downstairs. I think there's Xbox 360 sitting about somewhere. Uh, they get turned on. They get played. Uh, I don't use them for this, and. I do have FS22 on Xbox, and I brought it with the year bundle and everything like that. But having played it, and played it extensively on PC, I find it a real struggle to go back to console for farm sim now. It's just, uh, well, and it's not even like a mod thing. Some people say, oh, I can't, I don't have the mods. I'm not worried about the mods. It's just the performance, and just how slow it feels. Like, it takes for ever to launch forever I, I had someone once tell me that the console is better because you can just jump into it quicker I, I can from a cold state if I was to race my PC and my Xbox my, I, I would be up and in game farming before FS22 on Xbox has uh, got off the, the home screen loading thing it's crazy um, sorry, I got a little bit into a, a, a thing there. Uh, Rusty, to play games together, us grumpy old men would have to be social, <laughs> and that's against our religion. It is indeed. Like, it's just oh, it's just you know what? I'm, I'm quite happily playing. I like chatting with everyone, doing. But to get together online too often, that would be that would be too much, wouldn't it? You'd have to start making plans and <laughs> really getting to know each other and do stuff. 
Uh, no, where are we? Thank you. I do play Xbox. Yeah, I play Xbox. It's annoying. What work are you doing now? I'll get to that in a minute, Agri. Uh, Blurred, thanks for coming by, mate, and congratulations on the 1K. Congratulations on partnership. Big things in the future for you, my friend. And if you're streaming up later, I've got a ton of editing I need to do, so I'll be lurking. If you're new, people, check out Blurred Gaming, uh, Call of Duty, uh, Warzone, Battlefield, Splitgate, all that sort of stuff with super positive energy, good laugh, a great crew that he runs with as well. Check out Blurred Gaming. Uh, FS is back. See, I've been talking to you, FS, and you've not been here to help. Rusty says, Blurred Dad Gaming, take care, bud. He is a good man. He's he's another, do I say, old man gamer, but he's not grumpy. He's he's positive, and that's that's nice. David's back as well. Everyone's coming back. Look, no one wanted to see me cut the feckin' grass. Uh, what are we going to do next? I, I really do need to move some bales, um, which isn't the most exciting thing. Or I could go and uh, lease a tether. Shall we take the drive to the store and get a tether? Do you like do you like the do you like Scania? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, why why is the lorry the lorry's up there? Because my son put it there. <laughs> I left him with my PC for a few minutes, and uh, <laughs> just, I came back, and that was where that was. <laughs> and he was chuckling away. He was proud of himself. He's only two and a half, nearly three. He was well pleased that he'd got that up there. I should imagine he'd glitched something because it had, I, it, it was pulling a trailer full of chaff so I could fill the clamp because I was trying to play catch up, and the trailer was over here upside down, and the uh, the Scania was perfectly landed on top of the uh, the slurry tank. Oh, I didn't want that on. There we go. What tractors am I using? We'll have a little look. We'll go to my garage to have a little features. So we've got a Hurleyman 130 uh, by Black Eyes Modern, and we've got the Lamborghini Nitro, which also has an Hurleyman XM110 T4, also by Black Eyes Modern. I I really hope these make it onto the mod hub. They're, they're great tractors. We can flick through and have a look at everything in person in a bit. And although they're under medium, my small tractors are uh, a pair of Case um, 8086. I think they have 885s. And I, can't, I couldn't find an 885 mod. So uh, that was sort of the next best thing. The telehandler and the Merlot come in with a game. Uh, the JCB is up at the second farm. That's that's a, a telehandler that sometimes gets used or borrowed up there. And the Merlot is in game. Right there. They're not real people, but they'd still get annoyed. <laughs> and the Merlot, obviously, at the farm. We use that. Uh, there are, obviously... Uh, Manitou's in game, but they, I think FS just felt that they felt a little bit too new, and that was perfect. And I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I haven't used the Merlot since was it FS 17, maybe. And yeah, I forgot how good a view you get from it. Like, I, I'm having a lot of fun in the Merlot from in cab, and uh, that's why I do a lot of that in there. And then the Land Rover we brought last stream just for a laugh someone wanted to see it so we brought it i've replaced our vehicle with that now so we've got the old uh stock v6 and the mahindra's there as the little little farm runaround four trailers i've added in a marston trailer and i do silage for that as well that's got quite a good uh, solid side on it and that's by matt xjs i switched out my slurry tanker for one of the smaller high specs i am um, blue color I think that, that fits in more with what he has on his farm. Just went for a little uh, Samaz mower. And then we've got the, the Lizard single axle trailer. I was running something different and I felt like that was too big. And then this one turned up and without the sides on. And it, it just fits better for me. I, I like that. It works well with the farm. It's small. You have to do a lot of trips when you've got a lot of bales. But 
it work. I think it's got an auto actually. Did that? No, it hasn't. So if it has, that could be handy. Uh, under animal feed and stuff, we've got the Keenan. You have to have a Keenan. There's the Anderson Pro Chop. I've looked everywhere to see if I can find a. Um, oh, I forget what they're called. What are they called? What are they called? What do they have as a a blower? It's left my brain. Absolutely left my brain. McHale. There we go. It comes back just before I get there. Uh, McHale blower. All I've, there's a big McHale baler out there, and I've found this little one. Cannot find a McHale wind blower. Ah, uh, Mr. Scania. <laughs> You might not like where my Scania is, Mr. Scania, 2002. Um, so, yeah, that's that's them. Uh, the animal transport I've changed out because I might um, be sneaking increased in capacity. This one, because it's a mod one, my Vertex design. So I might change that. So instead of fitting like eight cows in, I can fit 15 or 20 just to make moving the cows about a little bit easier. Then we've got the front loaders. They are what they are. We've got the weights, and I've added them for obviously the uh, the old cases, and then I've just grabbed two of these because I think they're great. Uh, someone in my Discord asked what they were. <laughs> they actually asked me if I could go find them on the mod hub for them, and give them a link. Uh, I was like, uh, no, <laughs> you can go and find them on the mod hub if you want them. <laughs> they're on the mod hub. Like, just go search. But because the search tool on the mod hub is awful they didn't want to have to go and do it <laughs> so that's just so feckin lazy I'm not going to do that for you are uh, you seeing it in a new appear? yeah I'm sorry about that Mr Scania <laughs> these, these things happen small people so we get to have a little drive about so I don't do much uh, driving out a cab here on the stream I find people are, are more accepting of in cab gameplay. You do you do a twenty minute video of in cab gameplay and people will tell you that was boring. Sit here for two hours in cab and people people seem to be alright about it. Uh sick. <laughs> Cleaning the crust off, yeah, breaking it down. It made me chuckle, so I thought I'd leave it there for a bit. Leave it for the stream. <laughs> it might still be there next stream. At the minute, we're not playing overly too serious, worrying about our finances. So if I get used up in leasing costs, it does. But my son has a... It's like, it's, it's not, it's, well, he'll, soon, he'll be free in March, and uh, he likes playing this. He likes to sit at the wheel and drive the tractors and drive the trucks. He's got his own save on No Man's Land, where he's got his uh, wheel loaders and, and stuff, and he just likes having fun with it. And why not? I say, why not? So we need to lease ourselves. To be fair, we want a wind rower and a tether. We'll just get the tether for now. So it'd be nice if there was one a little bit, a little bit cheap. I brought one. I've got loads of money, but I want to lease because they, well, they have other people come in and do their grass work, but. Since we're on stream, we'll uh, we'll do it ourselves. It doesn't have to be very big. I might use something that I don't normally use. How about that? They're all the same. I find that this it doesn't matter. Um, are you starting modern? I seen on Discord images of a shed, or is it a cattle feeder? Uh, I like to try and dabble in different things. I like to try and learn as much as I can, Mr. Scania. And, uh, yeah, I, I was up la last night. I couldn't sleep. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to boot up Blender, not know anything about it. And I'm going to see if I can make something. And after seven and a half hours, that final picture of my shed is as far as I got. Some say it's good. I'm sure some will say it's bloody awful. But it is what it is. What should we go with? What should we go with? I'll let someone else pick. 
It looks great. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Scania. There's, uh, I'd like to change out the texture on the, on the frame. It's it's too stretched, and I I can't I haven't yet figured out how to not have the texture stretched like that. I've I've done I've zoomed in, zoomed out, pulled away. It either repeats too much or it's really stretched because it's supposed to be rusted metal, but it looks like an old sort of grey wood, really. So it's it's got that look. It could be that, but it's it was supposed to be rusted metal. The big pottinger. Well, this one. That's huge. <laughs> okay. The the uh, HIT 1618. That's the one, yeah? I'll wait for, I'll wait for a reply. Not me being rude. It's just you know what? If you want me to get it, I'll get it. Oh, I'm sorry, David. The uh, the Pottinger came in first, and I do use the Cavernland a lot. I like Cavernland, so we'll we'll lease this. See, this is why I would like to do more streaming. Oh, I've got. <laughs> it's not even here. Wait there. <laughs> I had my things delivered elsewhere. Where is it? <laughs> During the setup process, I forgot to reset it. Where has it gone? Is that it? Yeah, reset. <laughs> there we go. Was that wine up there? The spawn point is right over there. If I so that next time we'll uh, we'll uh, put that back. There we go. <laughs> There's a guy I watched who zoomed the actual texture in and out. I'll look him up, see if I can find the video. Yeah, well, you can, you can bring up um, like the UV panel on the left and you can pull pull the map mesh sort of back and forwards. It just never hit that point where it looked really good to me. Hey, Cassie W. Uh, things are going well, thanks. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for joining us. If you're enjoying the stream, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. It really does help me out. Uh, I've, I've watched some Elk Mountain modding. The, the dude is exceptional with Blender. Uh, I just find that a lot of his videos where it says tutorial and for beginners aren't tutorials and aren't for beginners and are quite often him just showing off how good he is but he he's, he's got a video and it's just the title is how to build a shed for FS for beginners and it starts off really well for about five minutes he's talking you through what he's doing what he's doing and then he time lapsed the feckin thing and talked over it like how is that a tutorial <laughs> The map has had some changes. There is a a copy with Giants penned and testing, so that probably won't be until New Year now. Um, just today, there's one or two things that are going to be changed, but uh, FSL is going to take a break over Christmas from updating and changing the map. So even if the map does go through and pass, there would there would be an update for it. So then I guess it would be up to him whether he wants to update the map once it's out or pull it down and... Um, put out a, a better version that's generally been the gist of how things are like if there's something he can fix and make better then he'd rather have that version go out rather than play on it people will have issues and then do other things yeah I don't think I'd learn anything from his videos anytime soon it's just I remember the zooming and the texture yeah I mean his, his skills are exceptional they really are but they are not tutorial videos. Like I sat there ready to learn. This was like, I don't know, in the summer. I sat there ready to learn. And when I first started trying to do that map. And then, uh, yeah, there was nothing there for me to learn. <laughs> that was just one big flex of look how good I am. Because <laughs> then even, like he did the time lapse of it. And then obviously did a piece to camera to talk you 
talked through it, but he didn't talk about what he was doing. He just talked about himself and his experiences with Blender and how he got as good as he got. So, <laughs> loved it. I thought it was uh, absolutely hilarious for a tutorial video. But his maps are really good, and his, his buildings and everything, it's just, they are really good. He is a good, good modder. If it isn't released by Friday, I'm pulling it down to add food changes, then they'll only put it back up just before they start back in January. That makes sense. Uh, would you have any idea why my Giants editor doesn't load? It just keeps saying starting at the top. Have you got your um, path directories set right? And have you got Giants editor installed at the same location as you have the game because I find that that can cause troubles when I first started using Giants Editor I had the editor installed on my C drive just because that was where I wanted to go and I have all my games and everything stored and all my other software that allows me to store elsewhere on um, like my E drive but because the two weren't together Giants Editor didn't like it and it didn't like when I put in the custom path route as well, so I had to uninstall um, FS22 and then redo it, and then it worked fine. If not, it does tend to crash, and I need to do that again because it was only a couple of days ago I was having issues with FS22. I uninstalled it, and I had I had it stalled installed on my C drive because I've been obviously doing the Giants Editor stuff with it. Um, but I forgot to uh, change it back to C drive when I reinstalled it because I'd been installing on my E drive. So uh, I need to get like two videos done and then I'm going to uninstall FS22 and reinstall it again. But once I've got the two videos done, they're important because then my schedule's done and until New Year. And then I haven't got to worry about the time frame on how quickly I get it up. And I'm hoping that's going to afford me some time to play some other games, get some content recorded for my new channel that starts in January, and hopefully some more streams. I want to try and do I want to try and do two more streams on uh, Ballam Road before the end of the year, and I'd like to try and start a proper streaming series on another map. I'm not used to this big old thing. All right, that's what she said. Anyway, <laughs> um. I wouldn't have the patience to mow that whole field with the set. You wouldn't? Oh, I've, I've mowed a much bigger one. <laughs> oh dear. I've, I've mowed all their meadows with that. <laughs> with that little mower. <laughs> He's only got little equipment, so that's, that's what I used. Which fields uh, did you do for silage? If I come out. Oh, if I just turn it off. Initially, we'll, we'll have a fly. Let's go fly. Uh, times four, turn that on. So initially, uh, these two went in the clamp. This one has already been mowed for hay once. I haven't done anything with the side pasture. This one over here. This went in the clamp. Um, this is the field I used for the fill in the clamp video that I did. little video to show casing the map and sort of the, the stuff you do with it. And then... I'm not ignoring you if you're in asking questions and stuff. Just try to think. Uh, then this one, we we put this one in the clamp on stream. I think it was a couple of streams ago. We put this one in the clamp, and FS told me off because I'm only supposed to do that first cut because that's what's least for. And then over here, you can see I've got my bales because we keep updating. And every time we update, 
I have to uh, fill my clamp. Everything else I can bring in because they're saved in the items or vehicles file. So this field, this time, instead of trying to fill a second clamp, I've uh, bailed up the uh, silage from it. I've, I took some silage off a field over there as well, which is why I've got bales over there. But this field I've used for silage. If I had more time, I would have uh, probably silaged that one as well. I mean, I'm not sure. Like November, there may still be grass, so I could do that. And then there's this one as well. I haven't done anything on that field. On that meadow. Um... Uh, FS says, I don't actually click the giant setter. I always go, yeah, that's the... Like once you're in Giant Center, there's no no reason to be actually in there. If you just open up your the thing you want to open up from the uh, i3d file, it's much easier. Uh, do you know how to stop lag on FS22? My PC should run it, but it's constantly lagging, and I love it. Uh, what are the settings? What, what's your what's your specs, mate? What's your graphics card? Will Courseplay work? Courseplay does work. I've used Courseplay. Play works. Uh, what silage harvester did we use? Um, I believe we used the class Jaguar. We leased it. Yeah, not that one. It wasn't a tracked one. Might have been this one. This one. There we go. Release that. I leased this, and for the little video I did, um, yeah, we had this, and at least a case because it would fit with the uh, the Pemberton's theme. They often have a case as well, um, and another. I think, I'm not sure if that was a Marston or maybe a Red Rock trailer with the silage behind that one. So yeah, you, you own, or you come in owning or with the ability to use a lot of meadows. Give them to there. This one, obviously this is your dairy pasture. And you do have, mine will be growing, a an arable field but you, when you start the game you'll come in and this will have barley in it so that you can harvest that and get yourself some straw mine is replanted but rather than how I'm doing it I'm going to go back over there just because I'm going to talk about it and that's how my brain works uh, how I've been doing it is that I harvest it, I take the straw, the grain gets gone because the grains are not for me, uh, and then I use my tools to uh, reset the field. So then I've not got to keep worrying about being the farmer that's planting wheat and barley because that's not what I want to do. I'm the farmer that's concentrating on um, dairy. But. This is more for show for FS because he doesn't use a lot of mods. FS. But what you want to be doing, mate? Do do do. do if I uh, come in here, you want to install this FS landscaping. This is what you want. The easy dev tools. I don't know if you've done it yet. Because then you can come to your field. Say this one. Uh, set fruit. And if we say this is a grass meadow. fertilized it's been limed not got stones on and it's going to be set to ready to harvest cloud yes herbicide doesn't really matter but we'll say yes stubble shredded yes so when I landed the field was harvested and now it's ready to cut so FS landscaping you need this tool so you can sort your bloody barley out without faffing about with it <clears throat> I 
Where is the reset point? At the store. Reset point is at the store. I had it over there because I was leasing a, a, a wrapper and a baler. Let's just uh, turn them off now. Is it on f uh, I quite like the actual times two run speed, but don't want to be flight mode. I keep meaning to set times two run speed as my default when I uh, when I come in to a save because I I do a lot of walking and running everywhere, even on my let's plays. A lot of their a lot of their travelling is done by foot. Uh, what have I missed? i7 4 DDR3 RX65 Yeah, we've got a bit of SSD. I mean, you're sort of on the on the cusp there with your I mean the i7 4 is probably I'm not quite sure what the minimum is now, but Oh, sorry, you got to be sorry, I can read that. Uh, that's what I do. Um and I'm, I'm not clued up on the AMDs, but RX five six four gig. I'm, I'm pretty sure you want a six six gig for this, don't you? Does that not the recommended on the graphics card? But a lot of it comes from a lot of your lag come from your shaders. If you've got a lot of stuff going on and you've got a busy map, it'll lag out. Pete, you can't do clamps that easy. Trust me, mate, I tried. <laughs> you can... <laughs> uh, if I come out, wait there. I'll show you, buddy. <laughs> Believe me, I tried to fill my fucking clamp with the... Uh, with the thing. I'll fill stuff that I'm going to use. I'll drop it here. So I went in the clamp and where is it, where is it, where is it, uh, tip to ground. You tip anything you like. So if we had, I don't use the potatoes, what are we going to use? Oh, we'll have some TMR uh, about a metre away and we'll have like 5,000 litres. There it is, under my feet. Now I tried to do that to fill the clamp up last week because I got fed up of putting a million litres in it and uh, it didn't like it and in the end it was such a ball ache it really was because it would only fill about a hundred thousand litres at a time and then if I went in the right spot it wouldn't put it where I wanted it so I, 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 I've tried <laughs> yeah eight, 8 is the borderline yeah Yeah, I always say, like, uh, just before uh, or just after normally a uh, game comes out, you often see a lot of people asking on the social medias, will this run XYZ game? Will this run? Will this run? And uh, I, I always say, go look at the minimum and then up it a bit. And that's what you want. If you want to run mods, if you want to do stuff, especially in FS, then you need something a little bit beefier than what they say minimum. Oh, this is so wide. I do not use tethers this wide. <laughs> this is... There. Uh, so I just wasted 720 euros. Sorry, buddy. That's, that is that is harsh. Uh, you think that that's a problem? I, I still get issues because FS22 doesn't perform well on newer hardware. And uh, <laughs> my PC costs nearly, <laughs> nearly four grand. And sometimes FS goes, nah, mate, you ain't got what you need. When, when I have, not FS as in FS landscaping. Would that mean if the mod updates when it comes out, it will, it will reset it, or only when the mod isn't out? 
it does would that mean if the mod updates when it comes out it will reset it or only when the mod isn't out it does that what are we talking about Ribena <laughs> the clamp what for me trying to fill it uh or the the tip as well as long as you've got it installed it, it, you can tip anywhere but if you if you then remove the mod you still keep what you've tipped if that's what you're saying so if I was to I'm not going to do it if I was to come out and then come back in again that that little pile of TMR will still be there Is that what you're asking? I'm not a hundred percent certain. Oh, you mean if I've got you now, if there's an update for the mod, for this map, is that what you're talking about? And the clamp is full. Will it reset the clamp? Yes, the clamp is empty. Or you're better off having an empty clamp anyway. Is this Maze Plus ready? I think I've already answered that like four times today. Every map is Maze Plus ready. The map does not have grazing though. You just add Maze Plus for your map for it to be Maze Plus ready. Um, but there's, it doesn't have... Um, set out for grazing because the the focus for FSL was to get it to consoles and that's not a priority for console and uh, there are plenty of or oh, it's not plenty there's some really good uh, tutorials on how to adjust the the grazing areas it's just your foliage areas in your pens and you can you can either adjust the ones that are in there Or you can actually add your own um, foliage if you if you know what you're doing in GE. That's that's sort of more than possible. Disturbed Simulations has some really good, really thorough tutorials on how to adjust any map for Maze Plus, how to adjust Maze Plus to set your feed and amounts, to set, to set your output amounts, to set what types of feed you give your animals. So if in your part of the land they don't feed potatoes and beets, but they chuck in a bit of canola and soybean, you can add that to the mix of what you want to feed your cows. You could put manure into Maze Plus as a feed for your cows, so your cows will produce their own food. That is a possibility. Uh, Mr. Scarnet, I'll return it and look for a better one. Yeah, just go a little bit better. Just, I'd say you want to be, you want to be, a, if you're on, on Intel, only really know Intel. You want to be looking at least um, sixth, seventh gen for your for your CPU. i seven's good, definitely. Um, but yeah, you want it to have like a at least a seven, yeah, six, seven, seven, eight, probably. Then, uh, like I only really know graphics cards, um, Nvidia wise. But you want like a sixteen sixty ten ten eighties and ten sixties do run it, and they run it pretty well on sort of medium settings. If you get yourself a 1660, 1660 Super or something in the 20 series range, a lot of the 20 series graphics cards run FS better than a 30 series graphics card. I've got a 3080 Ti. I think at the time of purchase it cost like oh, I don't know, over two grand. And this game does not like it. It really doesn't. Oh, we've still got a patch over there.
Exactly, yeah, you got a 10, 1060 run default, yeah. It's, it's mate, it drives me insane that uh, the 30 series cards struggle with this, especially the high end 30 series, because it's just not optimized for it. It really isn't. But I also play Ultra in 4K. But that should, I mean, I've, I tried to do it in a video once. I'll have to capture it um, differently for a stream, maybe one time. Because I doubt it will come up. But currently, my CPU usage for running this game, with everything that's going on, CPU usage is 15%. Max now at 15%. And my GPU maxes out, oh, excuse me, at 42%. That's all I'm using power wise to run this game. Yeah, I will still get drops to like 40 FPS or lower at times. And there's no reason for it. Uh, Rusty says his son's uh, 2070 Super runs ever as better than his 3090 Ti. Noise of crap out of me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but And this is the only game that I, I have that issue with. Like, uh, every other game just, just runs as it should. Runs as it should. I play some big games that, <laughs> that I don't record. And, uh, yeah, they never struggle. My Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> that no one watched. I've used that as an example many times. Uh, I, I peak at 180 FPS with nothing dropping. 4K Ultra. 180 FPS. Farm Sim. Ooh. Struggles to maintain a 50. <laughs> and it makes no sense. <laughs> And this honest, <laughs> this honest review of Farm Sim <laughs> is why I'm Giant's partner. <laughs> but I love the game, so, you know, that's all that matters. <laughs> I always say it's a love-hate relationship. And I am probably one of your most honest Farm Sim <laughs> players you'll get. <laughs> because I will swear at it, and I will call it a bit of a biz arch at times. What we got here, yeah, yeah, exactly. ETS2, ATS, uh, seven days to die, everything else. I can run maxed out with these, but if it's 22, as we swear and curse, it. exactly, it's it boggles me, it boggles me. But it, it weren't until about four or five months after it came out that I, I was reading somewhere, although it runs like 4K and um, 1440, it's not a native, it's not native to 4K, it's not native to 1440, it's it's, it's a 1080 game that's just accelerated and accelerated and accelerated to make it look better on all the hardware so it honestly this despite the fact that it runs so poorly on consoles this was a game that was made for console it really was made for last gen consoles as well and that that's the, that's the thing that annoys me is that it does Although it's got the improvements and bits of it are nice and the additions are good, apart from the fucking roller coaster and a boat, other than that, things are relatively good. But it's just, it's, it just still feels like a bit of a cash grab at times, in my opinion. In my humblest of opinions. Right, we're going to return this here. I'll probably need more hay another time, but. It's nice to have a little drive around and you can see things. Uh, Xbox Player 11, when is the map getting released? Has anyone got any news for Xbox Player 11 on when the map's getting released? Uh, mods do not get a release date, my friend. They, they, they're they like, I don't know, like a cake. They, they're done when they're done. It's There is a copy with Giants and if that's not passed through testing by Friday, that'll be pulled down for it to be updated for some other things that have been done, and uh, then hopefully New Year. But FSL has been working his balls off to try and get this out for everyone. No days off. Anyone watch wrestling? FS Landscaping is 
little days off the young version. Um, what do I want? I want a wind rower now. Back and forth, what are we getting? Wind rower. What should we go with? What did I, I can't remember what I used last time. So I use I used that on Maypole and quite like that. I think I used that last time. I know someone's gonna want me to use something ridiculously big, but I think we're gonna go with a cavernal in this time. Release it. Uh da, 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 I don't have a clue what you're saying about <laughs> these PCs. <laughs> That's fair enough, mate. No. Just, honestly, just go check out on the uh, Farm Sim uh, store page in Steam or Epic, wherever it is you want to get it from, or have got it from. Um, look at the minimum specs and then just go up whatever it is that uh, they say. Uh, the cattle sheds can't be sold, just the pastures can be sold. Did I lease that? Uh, I think we have to uh, have to wait until the next FS game before they have 1080. Or maybe if we're lucky, 4K native sense. Yeah, I think so. They've got to leave the old gem behind. That's what they need. I really, I, I, I've said it many times. I hope they skip out and do a three-year cycle again, so they can really have something special for us when it drops. I think the next one needs to be something special. Release. There we go. There you go. That's where they come in. If you don't fiddle about with it and move them around. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, thanks. And love your vids, man. Keep it up. Oh, thank you very much, Xbox player. No worries. You are more than welcome. Um, I enjoy making them. I'm just glad other people enjoy watching them. Plenty more to come. And uh, if you're interested in other gameplay series... I am starting up a Mr. Farquhar Plus channel. Um, there's links to it on the homepage. I keep meaning to put it in the descriptions, but I put so many links to other people's channels in my descriptions that there's no room for my own channel um, because I'm a sharing, caring kind of guy. But yeah, if you're interested in a little bit of other sort of gameplay, I'll be moving all that over to uh, Mr. Farquhar Plus so that then the Mr. Farquhar channel can just be simulation. The content that is already here will remain. I'm not going to remove it and then re-upload it elsewhere. I've already tr like linked those non-sim gameplay series to the other channel. Um, I would I would like to finish Death Strand Death Stranding off, uh, but it just seemed a bit silly to start at ha well not halfway but you know third of the way through on a different channel. So I'm not sure. I may finish that off here. I really like Death Stranding was getting right into it and then I fell ill and then I fell behind and then I never caught up enough to uh, to do it and then I felt like oh it's been so long people think I'm nuts if I go back to it but I really like, really enjoy Death Stranding I enjoy a lot of games I see uh, Rusty say they play a bit Seven Days to Die I like playing Seven Days to Die I like that. I get scared though. I'm not very good at horror games. I don't play horror games. I don't play anything that's remotely scary because I'm a six foot three baby and uh, I get scared really, really, really easily at things like that. Like real things in life <laughs> don't scare me at all. But if, if I, I get so engrossed in the stuff, I don't watch, I don't watch horror films. Uh, I have such a vivid imagination that I just have nightmares anyway all the time. If I, if, I, if I ever sleep, it's a nightmare. So, yeah, I, I don't need more fuel for that fire. But seven days, I love a good survival. And uh, that certainly ticks the boxes with that. Again, there's something that would be great with friends. I, I might try and do that. I think maybe 2023 will be the year that I get a little bit more sociable and try some multiplayer stuff. I have said, you know, if the channel can generate the cash to fund itself I will uh, look to get a server for FS22 and we'll I thought it will probably be um, like a four times map though so that people can have land and do what they want so it would be PC only we'll see maybe a 
maybe two, so there'll be a console one, I'm not sure. But I would like to maybe do that and provide that for the community. Trying to, to do things to help help be part of it and, and, and get things going. We, uh, we, I, I have added channel memberships. If anyone does wish to support the channel in that way, everything that goes into the channel will be uh, put into it. I was saying in Discord the other day to, uh, I'm not sure if that was Big Sid or Cooper, um, but it's just not fair to take, keep taking, as it were, to keep taking money um, that should be sort of more family pot and spend it on the channel. The channel needs to try and uh, generate for itself now and support itself, so that's what I'm going to do. We've got memberships, there's I might try a little bit of Twitch streaming. I've said I'm not really into that, but if if Twitch streaming can be a thing, um, from what I gather, streaming on Twitch can earn more than streaming on um, YouTube. Obviously, because during a live stream on Twitch, you get ads. I, I don't I don't think you can get ads on YouTube, and that's fine. No one wants them, but. But that's how you generate your money. So if like this is a what a two two and a half hour stream already, I've said before if that was if that was uh, me making a video, I may have got two videos made in that time, and then two videos will generate four or five times the revenue that this live stream will. Um, uh, I have a server and play it uh, with my teenage son. One of them stitched me up the other day by adding a mod that changed the zombie spawn to eight times normal. Oh, I spent the night hiding on top of a building. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I used to try and uh, get my daughter to play Ark with me <laughs> when she was about know, eight, nine. I think it was too much to ask for a, for a young kid to grasp all of that. I don't know, but yeah, we used to play. I uh, used to play with uh, Minecraft with her. We used to do that with friends, a lot of friends. So I just had a little Discord thing pop up. I'm never sure what notif notifications for what these days. Um, but yeah, me. Me and my brother, uh, my daughter, she was probably about five at the time, five, six. A uh, couple of friends, and uh, when she'd come and stay with me at weekends, we'd be up Friday through to sa to Sunday, Minecraft, building, exploring. There'd be about four or five of us doing it. She loved that. That got her into gaming, that did. I mean, she's, she's better at COD than me. She's better at Halo than me. But she, as she got older, she used those games, especially like when she'd come and stay with her dad, she'd use those games to socialise like with her friends, so they'd all just be in a, in, in a lobby together and uh, chatting and shooting. So she got good at that, whereas uh, I just never really got good. Um... Are you using the McHale baler? Uh, I have used it. Uh, I may use it. Sometimes I just use the uh, a square baler just because they're, they're quicker and I can just stack them up easier. I've got a mixture. I've got all sorts. I, I used, uh, when I was trying to set up the second, I think it was the second time I was trying to reset the map, and uh, I, I used a different baler for what I used before, and I didn't pay attention to the bale sizes. So instead of having 150s, I got a, got a load of one, 180s. So they still sit at the back of the shed. But I try and keep everything else sort of 150, so I sort of flip through that. But if not, I, I try and use a square baler. Just for the convenience of it at the minute. When... When it's final and released, if I decide to do like a full proper series or keep streaming at it, then I'll I'll stick with one thing and I'll do things maybe even a little bit more realistic if I can. And then, uh, yeah, see uh, see how that goes. 
but when when I'm constantly like I say every three days sometimes more than that every other day sometimes uh, there's an updated version so I up to date I update my version and then I have to get my maps caught up because we're because we're play testing we need to be doing things constantly so we need to be filling clamps we need to be emptying clamps filling manure emptying manure uh, moving the animals about just seeing that everything fills everything works that nothing completely breaks and uh, yeah, so it's just a quicker way of getting back up to speed as if you use the quicker equipment or spawn it in. But I don't want to, I, I never want to have like too much stuff spawned in because I want to be doing things for when I do get to go live and I get to chat about and do and do this. So, but if we, if we were to, uh, once the map stops getting updated so regularly, then all the spawning in and having to move stuff about won't, won't happen and we'll uh, stick to some set smaller equipment probably uh, to be fair two vids may generate more revenue at present but as you grow in the interaction a live stream generate will far outweigh the vids yeah but there's there's always there's that hope I mean we they they do do they do do oh man I got Cavalier Roy saying that now uh, I was talking to him in one of his streams the other night and he oh I dare. He, he found himself saying I do do. And he was a little bit annoyed about it. <laughs> uh, I do enjoy doing the streams. And uh, they are they they do well uh, in their own right as a as a stream on a really small channel. I, I will say that. They do pick up views afterwards and stuff, so but then because it's such a long video you'd have to watch the full length of a regular video before you get hit with an ad, or well, that's how it should be, unless YouTube get greedy and stick them all at the beginning, which they have been known to do for one of my videos, which I, I then had to move about because I didn't like that. I think it was my... Um, I can't remember now, I can't remember what it was called. The really long one, it's like a six hour video. And uh, it was a really good story game. Why can't I remember? No one watched it. It was six hours long. I think it only got, <laughs> got like 50 views. But it was a really good game. It's one of the ones where the story changes depending on what you pick and the narrative and stuff. But anyway, yeah, six hours long. They didn't spread the ads out at all. There was 50 ads in the first two hours. 50 ads. I was like, that's mental. Or 50 possible ads in the first two, because not everyone gets hit by an ad, so I had to shuffle them and move them all about. That was awful. Awful. When I, when I first got monetized, I spent quite a bit of time moving all the ads about and reducing the frequency of ads in my videos. Because I didn't like how many were getting, getting put in there. It just ruins the experience. Um, now, when I try and edit, I've changed... Well, I don't know if people really know this. I've changed my edits. So instead of always getting like swirls and fades and crossfades, uh, we black out and come back again. So we have a little fade out, fade in. Because YouTube will look for that and put an ad there. So if I do that, they're more likely to put an ad there for us rather than some random bit of conversation. They still get them put in random conversation, but then that means I don't have to go through every video and try and move them all, because I know you, they'll try and put them in the best location, in theory. But yeah, I, I, I spent like three days just moving ads in videos way back when. I do, I do appreciate everyone that comes to join me for a stream. I really do. Um, it's, it's something that I wanted to do more of. And uh, like I said, I really just did not think that my internet would hold up here. My partner has done a couple of streams on her channel, which she do. But her setup sits right above the router. And, <laughs> and it, it makes no sense. Her setup is wireless. And her setup runs so much smoother than mine. This all, this all wired in with really expensive cables. 
<laughs> and it runs slower. Uh, I, honestly, I, I can never catch a break with anything. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. But yeah, since I've been enjoying them, like I say, in the in the new year, we may have a map that I do that's just dedicated to live streams and just, just run that for a really long time if people enjoy it and want to come and watch and chat. Like I say, I know a lot of people come to these streams for this map and that is perfectly fine and I appreciate that anyway. But if you do come for the, uh, the Balam Road and you do enjoy me as well, Hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. Come and join us in the Discord. We uh, we chat, we do. I try and uh, encourage the sharing of other things that people like. It's, it's naturally a very farm sim focus. We've got a lot of uh, streamers and content creators that base their stuff around farm sim and Euro Truck and other simulation games. But you are free to come if you play anything. We have a general game feed. And for any game that becomes popular. I will happily create a channel of discussion and sharing for it. Excuse me. I have a SnowRunner feed that only I put the odd picture in. Because I really want to get SnowRunner back up and running. I absolutely love that game. I love it. And I don't play it as much as I should. Because I'm not recording it. I don't have that original save anymore. I would have to start again. But I'd happily do that and do it as a hardcore challenge. We do a hardcore mode and money's tight and you can't just pick stuff up. You have to pay for it and all that. That would be pretty cool. And I've got lots of ideas, lots planned for Mr. Farquhar Plus. I say, well, lots of ideas and lots of plans. It's just getting the time to do everything is always the challenge at the minute. So, uh, yeah, I might I might stream some stuff for that channel on its channel, or I might stream for that channel on Twitch. I'm not sure. I think maybe the variety streaming would work better on the, on the Twitch platform for a new channel. So if you're interested in watching me stream there, I do do I am already set up on on Twitch. I have streamed there before. Um, I don't do all the overlays and stuff because, well, personally, I don't like them. If I get a camera, I'll put a camera box on. But I, I, I don't. When I watch stuff, I don't like all the all the crap on the screen. I know I know why it's there. I know it's to attract people and to entice people, and then. Some people like to see their name as the last sub or as the latest follower and donations and stuff like that. And that's all cool. But that's not for me. I don't need that for for my view and pleasure. Um, so I don't generally worry about having it on there. I did have a socials thing set up to go on and overlay over this. Turns out that's not even turned up, I think. So <laughs> that went, nah, don't worry about it, mate. There we go. I have got October 3. October 3 for me. It's going to be all about bales. I'm going to have to bale up my hay. Get that stored because I need hay for the winter. And I've got a massive field with probably 100 silage bales that need to go put, put into storage. And I thought I was going to end up spending the whole of this stream trying to move bales about. And we haven't touched a single silage bale. So that's pretty good. Pretty good for you guys. Just means I've got a lot of that to do on my own to progress the save along for next time. Because this is going to be the end of the stream. I think we are probably pushing nearly three hours. Definitely two and a half, two hours, 45 minutes, I think. So that will be it for today. Everyone that has come to join us, thank you ever so much. If you haven't yet and you're still lingering, give the video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. It really does help the channel out. It doesn't cost you anything. If you do feel like throwing a penny my way, there is a membership to the channel now. 
Um, it's pretty low price. If it's too much, people have to let me know and I can set it up again and we'll drop it. Um, there are benefits to it and I will, once we get some members, I will do private member streams or private member videos. Might do some topless ones for you. Use it as my fans only, only fans, whatever that is. And uh, yeah. But there's a lot going on. Mr. Farquhar and Mr. Farquhar Plus. We've got a Discord. Come join us there. There's links below. All the wonderful people that have come in from their own channels to come and say hello. I've given them a shout out. Check them out. There will be links all over the place. I do like to share as a community. I like everyone to grow. Everyone deserves a piece of the pie. Everyone's hustling. So let's have some fun with it. Uh, Rusty says, take care, bud. Catch you next time. David says, great stream. Thank you, sir. FS. L, good stream, mate. You are welcome. Thank you for the map, mate. And, uh, yeah, you all have yourselves a wonderful night. I will try and be back for a live stream before Christmas. So, uh, I'll say that then. Night, night. See you later.